This is Heart Rhythm TV, and I'm Michael El Shami. It's a pleasure to host Dr. Um, Pugal Vijay Raman today, also known to many of us as his doc. Uh, Pugal, I just uh, watched your presentation about the leader left bundle branch area pacing, studying the defibrillation outcome of the Omnia Secure uh, left bundle branch defibrillator lead. Can you summarize the study for us? Yes, thank you, uh, Michael, for this opportunity. Uh, the leader left bundle branch area pacing study was to assess the defibrillation efficacy of this lead in a left bundle branch area pacing location. This lead just got FDA approval for yeah. traditional RV location, and Medtronic was proactive knowing how we behave and knowing that we will be using for this great therapy that we can use it for left bundle branch area pacing. So the primary aim was to make sure that this lead works effectively in performing defibrillation. And the good news is that it was 100% effective in achieving defibrillation uh, in the trial as per the protocol. And how did you uh, define uh, successful DFTs? So defibrillation uh, success was defined in this protocol with the 18 joule first shot for the first induced episode. If it fails, you should do a 10 joule safety margin. If you have a 35 joule device, 25 joule shocks or a 30 joule shock for a 40 joule device. And if that fails, then you can readjust the lead position or readjust the slack and repeat and get a 10 joule safety margin. But overall, 98% uh, of the patients, that's 159 out of the 162 patients, achieved defibrillation success with the first induced episode with 18 joule shock yeah. or a 10 joule safety margin. Th that's impressive. I mean, 18 joule with uh, this new defibrillator lead is impressive. I saw the x-rays you showed and uh, I saw how the coil of the lead is positioned in the RV. Can you comment on this? It's a yeah, bit atypical yeah. for us who's used to Yeah, of course, device. that's... Uh, uh, there are two concerns when we started the study, is that right? One is, can we defibrillate? Uh, number two, this is an integrated bipolar lead. We know the historic, old stories of uh, integrated bipolar leads. These have a tendency to sense the atrial electrogram if your coil is part in the atrium. Yeah. So the goal was to avoid the coil in the atrium, so have to put the lead, entire coil, into the RV. So that with the left bundle branch area location, it forced us to have the slack leave inside the ventricle. So that is one of the main requirements in the study. And I would guess the second reason is to for adequate defibrillation to have the entire coil in the RV? So uh, that was also part of the uh, requirements and defibrillation modeling suggested that this lead will be effective and uh, especially that mid RV location for the entire coil seemed to be effective and that seemed to work well in the study too. So are you gonna start doing lot CRT using this lead? Um. Yeah, so we do need to know long term. This is only the preliminary defibrillation efficacy. We have to understand the rest of the characteristic, the safety of this lead. Uh, we're going to have three month follow up data and we're also going to assess how this lead behaves in a lot CRT population. Um, I would be uh, selective at this point, um, but we'd like to see more results before we uh, make any recommendations. And you don't have any data yet on spontaneous VT or VF conversion efficacy? That's part of the study. In the, uh, there's a six-month follow-up and a three-month follow-up. We'll assess all of those things. Yeah. Thank you very much. I think this study was exciting and reassuring at the same time about the safety of this lead. Thank, Thank you. you, Mike.